I can get the whole thing. Okay, go for it. Thank you. So okay. pull out your aromatherapy reference cards. This is a layout of all of the different chemical constituents that are in each family of essential oils. So you can see that this, the essential oils that are high in what are called sesquiterpenes, these are the actions that they do, antihistamines, antiviral, cell regenerative, but the thing that they do best is they're anti-inflammatory. So an example of a sesquiterpene is the blue chamomile. Do you see that on there? And you can see that the blue chamomile is blue. Just think blue to cool red. So cuts, scrapes, nicks, bites, burns, things like that. So it's very anti-inflammatory. So these are examples of the sesquiterpenes. The esters, this is what they do, and these are some examples of them, the alcohols and so on. So you see how the sesquiterpenes and the esters, the alcohols and the phenylpropane ethers, those all have an N by them. And you look down at the bottom here, those can all be used neat on the skin or undiluted. So you can put them on the skin directly. And then everything else has an exclamation point. So those all need to be diluted at, what does it say? One to 10. One to 10% in a carrier oil. So either a lotion or, uh, if you look at the back where it says topical application, and you look at the little exclamation point, it says need to be diluted in a carrier oil. The following are acceptable carriers, lavender essential oil, lotion, any vegetable oil, alcohol, witch hazel, or vinegar, okay? And then you, do you see where it says the F and the T? So after anise and fennel, you can use those in food flavorings or therapeutically, therapeutically. So making an herbal honey is one great way to use therapeutic essential oils. So like, let's say you or your child is getting sick. You would, you would take, this is something that we used to do in France all the time, or they do in France all the time. They take just a bowl with about a cup of honey in it, and they just start putting essential oils in it. So we would put, about 20 drops of lavender because it, it helps to protect the mucosa and it also it heals everything pretty much. I mean, lavender is a healer. It's called a voluntary. It heals the skin or mucosa. And then you would put some alcohols in it, so some tea tree, some eucalyptus radiata as an antiviral, some eucalyptus globulus as an upper respiratory, some pine as a lower re respiratory, some thyme or oregano, which pretty much kills everything that the other ones don't kill. So these kill, these kill more, and these kill the most <laughs> for, anti for antimicrobials. And you stir it all up, and let's say we, we would do 20 drops of these, 10 drops of these, and two drops of these. That's how you would do your formula. And you stir it up and it tastes amazing. Your mouth is watering with all these yummy herbs that are so fresh that you've just made this beautiful medicinal honey. And you take about a half a teaspoon of that every hour on the hour. And you're usually, your cough gets better and you start to feel better. It's a really great way to use essential oils internally. So do you guys all understand how to explain this to people? It's a really nice um, card, a reference card to give to people when they just have questions on how to use essential oils. Okay. So on the back, the following recommendations, so everything that I teach you here about Veritas is obviously only about Veritas essential oils. The following recommendations apply only to Veritas organic essential oils. We cannot vouch for the quality of other companies' essential oils. Most brands in the marketplace should never be taken internally or used undiluted on the skin as many contain pesticide residues and are not 100% pure organically certified oils. And then it goes in the, into the food and the, and the therapeutic. So all of the essential oils on here, like ginger, this does not say for external use only, meaning that you can use it in, in food and flavoring. And then something like rose geranium says for external use only, which means that you can use only this only externally. So would you like to taste the ginger? Just put it right there and taste it. I use this all the time in just a little bit of water, just some warm water or even cold water. And I love it because it helps warm me up. It's also really great in salad dressings, soups, whatever, like Thai soups, whatever ginger, whatever you use ginger for. And then one that I really, really like is cinnamon bark. This is another warm one. And you just need a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I don't tell too many customers about this because, do you want to try it? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> This is this balances your blood sugar so it's much. Like red hot. <laughs> so much that you can't have a, a diabetic with insulin taken. I mean, it, people have actually called their test and, and, and reported that they had to that it wasn't good, that it was a very bad bad situation. So it balances blood sugar. It kills bad bacteria in the gut, all the yeasts. 
and it feeds beneficial bacteria, which is what Kurt Schwabelt found about the, the, the uh, cinnamon bark, is that it not only kills bad bacteria, but it feeds good bacteria. So you could put is, that in honey too, right? Oh, totally, yes. Because honey and cinnamon is supposed to be good for arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so those are a couple of essential oils that you can take internally, and like we just did, I call it the slurping method because you can just put it on your hand and lick it. So do you guys have any questions about this, this reference guide? It's nice because so many people come into your store and they say, I don't know anything about essential oils, can you just give me an idea? And it's nice to explain it this way, because then they know which ones they can use topically and such. The mental clarity you know about, the anti-aging, we're gonna give you a treatment. The sinus congestion, this on the back it says it's really good to use peppermint on the roof of the mouth. Have you ever done this? Do you wanna try it? We don't. Do you want to try it? I, I don't really need to. Okay. If you put one drop of peppermint on the roof of the mouth and you go like this and take your tongue and really rub it into the roof of your mouth, what's right right above the roof of your mouth? Your sinus cavity. So it just opens it up. You want to do it? Mm -hmm. She has a, a sinus issue right now. So the best thing to do when you have a sinus issue like she does is doing this peppermint on the roof of the mouth and then she does the sinus then you put the q-tip in the sinus oil and rub it up into your nose this is all explained right on the back of the sinus card <clears throat> pain relief is self-explanatory you just put it wherever there's pain if you're not getting effects it's because you're not using enough the deodorants self-explanatory right but have you ever read the bottom part of it for breast health, these therapeutic essential, essential oil formulas are more than just antimicrobial. Both deodorants are high in limonene, anti-carcinogenic monoterpenes, and other lymph cleansing and cell protective properties. After the underarm application, use a second application of your deodorant for the breasts and sides of the body to increase lymph circulation, combating the constriction of the bra. This method of daily breast massage with oils will help support breast health and vitality. So you do your thing here, and then you do a second application of the girls. And since there's so much lymph right here and right here, and nothing really moves lymph except for balancing or exercise and moving the body, because the lymph is your garbage system, and if your garbage system isn't moving, it just stays there stagnant. It's not like your circulatory system, which is pumped by your heart. So dry brushing, using these kinds of things, or drinking plungula tea, those all move lymph, and especially jogging or jumping on trampoline. The lemon, have you read this card? You guys all, have you, do, you, do you ever drink lemon in your water? So, <clears throat> drink often, three to five drops of lemon essential oils per pint of water throughout your day assists weight loss, liver detoxification, cleansing of the GI tract, and brings radiance to the skin. Lemon essential oil consists of 68% D-limonene, one of nature's powerful, <clears throat> most powerful antioxidants. Grapefruit, orange, and lemon can be used singly or in combination for the same benefits. And then one thing that we really like to do is lemon and yogurt with a little bit of honey and it tastes like a lemon custard. It's just wonderful. Have you ever tried that? No. It's really good. I tried it in my water. I like it. 